you know, there are people out there that are probably a little bit envious, they're a little jealous, they can't figure out why he's got that, he's, and I don't, you know, they probably think, well, it's that they don't really deserve it, and I des- I'm, I'm the one that does, and they probably think that uh, those are the people that uh, feel they're entitled to things without having to earn it. You know, I'm entitled to it because I'm a citizen. Or I'm entitled to it because I'm uh, related to so-and-so and such-and-such. No one's entitled to anything. Life itself is a gift from God. And uh, what are you going to contribute that uh, God needs? What are you going to What are you going to do that's going to win God over to your side, politically or or religiously or philosophically? This God's already God is God. Uh, you can't persuade God to do evil or good. I mean, you can pray, you can make your appeals, you can make your petitions. But God is a sovereign entity, and He may grant you. He may grant it if it's in accordance with His will. If it's in accordance with His will, He may He may make provisions for it. But you know, He may he may show up on your door uh, without even realizing it or expecting it. But as a general rule. You reap what you sow. And that's the laws of nature that God created. God created the laws of cause and effect. So if you, if you sow good seed, you're going to, more than likely, you're going to produce a good crop. Unless the tares, the tares and the weeds and the thorn bush, bushes grow up alongside of it and try to choke it or snuff it out. You know, there's lots of those hindrances and setbacks and 